family holiday to Canada this summer um, and spent some time in Whistler. If your family are heading there anytime soon and you have a bunch of adrenaline junkies in your household then this was definitely a day out that we would recommend. The place is just outside of Whistler at uh, Cougar Mountain which is about a 10 minute drive on the Sea to Sky Highway so really easy to reach. It's called the Adventure Group and their website is tagwhistler.com. Am I going with Florence? You can do. Okay. <laughs> The first activity we did was we went in these RZR vehicles, which are used by the military. It's kind of like a mini 4x4 vehicle. Looks a bit like a quad bike, but a bigger, meaner Big Brother version of one. Uh, the terrain that they could handle was unbelievable. We went over some really, really rough stuff, and you didn't really feel the lumps and bumps that much. You were allowed to drive one as long as you held a driving licence, um, so the middle daughter was a little bit miffed and had to put her provisional UK licence away. She wasn't allowed behind the wheel, but it was a lot of fun driving these. In terms of what to wear for the day, definitely do not wear a white t-shirt um, you will get absolutely filthy you just get covered in dust on these things uh, four of us out of our group of five did not get this memo and had white t-shirts on so yeah looked a little bit grubby by the end of the day they tell you to allow two hours uh, roughly for each of the activities up at the adventure park and I would say we were probably out on these little vehicles for, for nearly two hours, maybe like an hour and 45 minutes. A few opportunities to swap over drivers, um, and we stopped at a few viewpoints when we were high up in the mountains so we could take photos and things. The next activity for us was the zip lining, which was the main thing that we were looking forward to when we booked this adventure day. There are a couple of other options in Whistler for zip lining, but we found that you got all the activities with the adventure group for only about $10 more per person in comparison to one of the companies in the village, for example, Zip Trek. We're getting there. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just out. Everyone has these blue tabs. You can just pull those over your shoulders. Currently, they don't do much. But if you lift them up and you look underneath, you'll see a black tab. Yeah, you can just pull that to tighten your shoulder straps. They don't have to be too tight. Just tighten up the straps will fall off your shoulders. You good? Or you want a hand? So nice. Oh, have you just videoed me putting mine on all the arms? Thanks. <laughs> And you can just buckle that together. You all should have one. If you don't, that totally sucks to be you. <laughs> I'm joking. You'll all have one. God. Hopefully. With this trolley, this is what's going to carry down the zip line. Since there are 13 of you and only three of us, we're going to get you guys to carry your own trolley. Um, I'm just going to show you the easiest way. There's not a wrong way, but there is a more comfortable way. Um, so if you start by holding the bar just kind of up like this, you're going to see one end of that trolley kind of dangles a little bit lower. Yeah. <laughs> Are you scared? I'm not scared. You scared? I'm not scared. Yes, are you scared? No, She's a little scared. <laughs> She's white faced and pasty. <laughs> <laughs> That's just her natural part. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Perfect. And you can sit down into the harness. Fast, slow. Slow. <laughs> slow. No questions on. Slow as possible. You can have set one riders left and right side clipped in and adjusted. Perfect. One, two, three. Oh. Make sure you straighten your elbow. Just push it. So you have... Yeah, perfect. Ready? Yeah. Go, Westbury! <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, Ryan, 
Queensland. Oh, nice. Where do you work in the winter? Oh. Yeah, would you believe it? Because this runs all year round unless it goes below minus 30. Oh, Whoa, wow. I bet that's freezing whizzing through the air when it's in We had no. some minus 25 days. Oh. Really tough. Uh, if you shuffle back into the harness to tangle form and then lean back, you know what looks like? Yeah, that's okay. Uh, do you want to go first or second? Um, Come on! I'll go first. Oh, he's over there. <laughs> yeah, I'll go first. Oh, she's off. Bye, Florence! Ah. <laughs> right, and we're going to... And just me! Just you! Just me! I can't even fly with you. Oh, no, so I literally so am going on my own. own. Okay. <laughs> this was so much fun. Um, there are normally four zip lines, but there was only two of them, unfortunately, that were, that were open uh, on the day that we visited. But the longest one was open and the fastest one was open. So I think this one that I'm on right now is about two kilometers in length and you're zipping between Rainbow Mountain and Cougar Mountain. They explain how to brace safely for landing, but check out this uh, flying finish from me that my daughter recorded on her phone. You ready to go again, Ed? Yeah. Yeah. Number two. This one's the fastest, apparently. Fastest and the longest. See if you can beat your dad. <laughs> He'll have to give you a head start, I think, because he weighs a lot more. Three, two, one, go! Going to win the race, Florence. I hope no. Who? I hope no. You hope you. Wait, are we racing? Yeah, you're racing. <laughs> ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> daytime activity was the aerial obstacle course we didn't manage to complete the whole course because I think again it takes up to two hours but the older two girls had done the first couple of runs on the obstacle course in the morning they do have a little bit of a silly system whereby you just have to queue when you arrive uh, for which activity you want to do rather than being able to select a time um, a slot that you want to do each activity at so I think this is something they probably could change because they do have an evening activity which is called Valet Lumina and you select the time that you want to come back up and attend and um, so it'd be better if they could do that for all the activities during the day as well So overall I would say this is definitely worth doing, all five of us really enjoyed the day out. We managed to get a 10% discount through our accommodation provider which was Whistler Ideal. Um, so overall I think it was really good value for money because we were there for the whole day and then went back up for the light show in the evening. I didn't video that but there's a few photos here so that you can see what that was like. Again, really worthwhile, everybody enjoyed that. 